Rolling. Rolling. Talking about February 21st? Is it? I don't know. I, I don't must. know. No, no, but I'm, I'm talking about yesterday. What? I don't know what day is it today, so I don't know what day it was yesterday. Yesterday was yesterday. That's it. Exactly. So talking about yesterday. Music. So since we started to shoot for this trip uh, in Uyuni, we've been lucky. There is very little clouds, uh, but we we saw that well, the sky is way more pinkish or even like purple than what we were expecting or what we've ever seen here. So this is our fourth time, and it's the first time we see those colors. We're talking about. That picture that we made yesterday that is a bit mysterious because we never had that kind of colors before and I'm just clueless about that I tried with different white balance values and it's just not the colors I'm used to the blue hour is blue it's not <laughs> it's not pink right <laughs> but here I guarantee it is pink even with my cell phone and I, yeah. with my eyes and my cell phone it's it's all pink <laughs> Um, so I don't know what's happening, but I like it oh, a lot. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, experimenting with new colors. Um, so I was supposed to to test uh, different different variations of a new orange too, but doesn't fit at all with that with that uh, mm -hmm. sky. So um, so I'm sticking to white whitish uh, tubes, and the one I used for that picture yesterday was the uh, X Warm. Um, at that point, I was at white balance 2700. I never do that, but it worked. Uh, created very beautiful uh, colors. And if I would have seen this online, I would have said, oh, that's too much color grading, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but yeah, I, I adjusted the colors a little bit, but it, it was really, really pink. Yeah, um, it was. it was hard to believe, even like with the naked eye, so yeah really special colors and also and also <laughs> i feel so lucky about that the the stars let's call them the stars these are not stars <laughs> these are not stars <laughs> teach me kim teach me <laughs> what was that <laughs> well we saw uh, like the first nights we shot we saw that venus was there we recognized her um, and there was another planet that we didn't know and then we checked and we know now it's Jupiter but yesterday we had the first uh, crescent moon so the the small crescent was setting and it was super well aligned with um, so the crescent Venus and Jupiter so and we could all see them because there was no clouds which is very unusual for here we feel super lucky yeah the clouds so we we count on the clouds to have a different background every day that's the that's the thing here because uh with the reflection it, it's the cloud that is making the magic mm -hmm. and for the first time ever how many nights have we've been shooting here probably total total, total? Oh. yeah 20 30 yeah. i don't know but over 20 probably. never seen a clear sky during the uh, the blue hour yeah well especially during the rainy season right because we are in the rainy season. So. It's the beginning of the rainy season. It's going to get even more wet at some point. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. And but we have still. to come before it's too wet because then uh, the salar is not accessible at mm -hmm. all. Um, but yeah, first time with no clouds and yeah, that, 
to me, it's just not possible. The, what we've been able to capture yesterday, and it was a one-time deal because that mm -hmm. alignment with the Moon, v uh, Venus, and Jupiter was yesterday, and that's it. Yeah, tonight's going to be different. So we're still going to see the two planets, but the Moon is going to be higher, right? Yeah, it's and going bigger. to set a bit later. Okay. It's our fourth time here in Uyuni and we've had incredible colors. Uh, colors that we've never seen before, more like pink, reddish sky. And we wanted to know what it was about, what was causing uh, these skies because it, it's basically it was hard to believe, right? Um, so we looked for a scientific explanation of what is like what causes a pink sky and this is what I found. Mixing red part of the spectrum of light with additional white part. And this happens when there are more aerosols and fine particles um, in the air to scatter and reflect the sunlight spectrum. That's great, but but then we were wondering what is causing, like what are those particles that we are seeing. Um, and thanks to Gary and Stefan, they, they put us on the right track. I'm going to read some comments that we had um, on social media. And Gary wrote, um, after we post our first picture of the pink sky, the sky colors are incredible. They may be the effect of the Tongan volcanic eruption from last year, as we've had the same at sunset many times. Andrea was asking, what is that color, uh, where is that color coming from? And Stefan wrote, volcanic hash circling the southern hemisphere, most likely from an eruption over a year ago in Tonga. We see it most nights in Australia. So that caught us by surprise because we're from Canada, the Northern Hemisphere, and we did not hear about that volcanic eruption. So I looked up for it, and here's what I found. On January 15, 2022, there was a, they call it Tonga volcanic eruption. It's an undersea volcano that erupted in a massive explosion, um, probably the most violent in decades. And it triggered tsunami uh, waves and hash falls uh, and when it erupted a cloud of gas water and hash was ejected something like 57 kilometers in the atmosphere so these are our particles they've been basically circulating around the southern hemisphere for over a year now and it could last, from what I've read, it could last for a few months. It will slowly fade out as the, I don't know how it works, but they, they basically like it's circulating and it's going towards the pole and eventually like getting cleaned. <laughs> um, maybe we'll cut that part. So basically, yes, it, it, it will, it's slowly fading out but these particles are causing those super vibrant colors in the sky. Isn't that fascinating? It means that if we were to come a year from now, we would not have those colors. It was something that we were obviously not expecting and we're super excited about it.
What about the usual colors? What do we usually expect? <laughs> we usually expect those very blue and then like a vibrant orange line towards the horizon line, like we had in the previous trips. Yeah, never something red like this. Never. No. What about like at some point uh, we started to have the uh, the moon starting to be bigger, and then we get something totally different. Uh, at the end of the blue hour, what we call the, the pastel colors. Uh -huh. Exactly. So we have a palette of colors that we've never had anywhere else in all our, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of nights out. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's incredible. So elegant. So elegant. Are you done? Thank you. Yes. Okay.